What's up, everybody? This is Scott. This is day number 11 of the 30-day YouTube challenge issued to Andrew Smith and Greg Root. Uh, today's video is actually going to be on something that I stumbled across online, um, and that is a Google Photos troubleshooting guide that's actually posted within the Google Photos help area. Uh, there are some a lot of questions that are out there related is where's my photos I can't find my photos out there so they actually have this handy dandy guide uh, that kind of walks through these different steps so today we're actually going to walk through those steps so yeah that was my attempt at the Google Photos emblem I am not an artist you can see that I can barely write so without further ado let's go ahead and get started um, what I'll do in the description below I will actually post this direct link uh, but again, here is a handy dandy guide asking, uh, hey, where are my photos? I can't see them. What can I do? So it, we actually recommend that you come out here, take a peek at this, try some of these different steps. And then if by any chance you still haven't figured out where the photos are or they haven't showed up, then come over to our forum, which again, I will post in the description below. Uh, but in this guide, I want to go ahead and get started and kind of show you where we're looking at from these perspectives. So if I open up this very first tab, it says, uh, are you looking for photos or videos saved from an app like WhatsApp, Instagram, um, maybe not so much Hangouts, but any type of third-party application that you may be saving images? Snapchat, I think, actually is another one that you can do. So you can see right there, it actually says within the Google Photos app, uh, you want to press menu, device folders, and then see about the little cloud. So I want to actually show you guys what that looks like. Let me go ahead and close this and fire up photos. Uh, this is actually the new photos. You can see down there at the bottom, they have that bar that's ever present with the assistant photos and albums. A very nice touch in my opinion. But again, right over here, you can see device folders about midway down. Select device folders. And now it's actually going to populate a whole bunch of my folders that I actually have out there. So you can see that I have a bunch of videos up here in the camera area. And I actually have this magic mouse attached here. So camera, screencasts, uh, come down here, some exports and screenshots and things of that nature. But you, what we're looking for is this little emblem right up here in the corner, the right-hand corner, where uh, the blue cloud with the up or the up arrow is uh, indicative of saying, I am allowing these to be uploaded and basically put in my drive. And there's another video that I made on kind of what is the difference between photos and drive that I will link to as well. But right down here, you can actually say, I'm, I'm actually telling photos, hey, I don't want these uploaded, therefore don't save them in the cloud. Now, if you're looking for some photos that are actually out there, make sure that this is selected and it's that highlighted blue that you can see there. Okay, so let's go back to the other steps in the actual application itself. So we get rid of that guy. Um, are you looking for photos that you may have accidentally deleted? If so, you've probably moved it to the trash or maybe you accidentally did so. You got about 60 days or so to go ahead and get that emptied out. Um, if you did it by accident, you do have that 60 day kind of buffer zone and then it actually will be permanently deleted just like it says there. So um, if you're looking for some other ones that may be a little bit more recent ones, but you can't find some old ones, it's actually saying recommended one or two days. You have the ability to kind of clear the cache of the application itself. Um, and I'll actually, there's another video and I'll throw that link in the description below about how do you go about clearing cash from an application. You can give it a shot. Otherwise, it, like it says, recommended to wait a couple more days. Um, this one I have actually experienced myself. So are you looking for photos or videos that you've uploaded from a computer or a camera that wasn't a smartphone? Um, <clears throat> my wife and I actually uh, had a whole bunch of photos taken for our uh our wedding way back in 2006 um, and I could not for the life of me actually find those photos and comes to find out when I scrolled to the bottom of the photos area and it was a long way because I have like 20,000 some pictures uh, they were actually somehow mislabeled metadata tag 1968 so it was incredibly old date uh, so if you do have those um, you can find them closer to the bottom, so I would recommend taking a peek there. Some incorrect timestamps and that type of metadata, you can actually edit, and there'll be another video in the future that I'll make in terms of editing, but uh, you can actually find that if in the Google Photos help area as well. 
Um, and last but not least in this particular area, uh, are you looking for photos or videos from Google Plus Hangouts or Blogger? Take a peek at Picasa Web Album. So when I click that link, it actually comes over here. I'm just gonna draw everyone's attention to this right here. This is one of my most favorite Dave Chappelle moments of uh, all time. But you can actually see the different Hangouts that I have, different photos that I've shared. Um, and things across the way. So take a peek at that Picasso web album as well to see if you have anything that might be hiding up in there. So uh, let's say you can't find any photos at all. I don't see anything. Um, I did a video again talking about the difference between photos and Drive, but you wanna make sure that you have that setting turned on in Google Drive to, so, to show those photos and videos. So uh, when we actually come over to the other help area, where am I going in Google Drive to basically say, give me all my photos, I wanna see that. Uh, within Google Photos, you wanna make sure you tap settings, show Google Drive photos and videos in your library. So let's go ahead and go back over to photos, scroll over here, settings, and wanna make sure that we can actually show those. There we go, see it right there? show Google Drive photos in your photos library. I actually have that checked as blue. Blue means it's good to go, so we wanna make sure that we have that. And then coming back over to our actual troubleshooter guide, we wanna go down to organize those photos. Oh, wrong, wrong one, my apologies. Where are my photos? I'm gonna close that one. Um, and you actually might have some other photos and videos that are still uploading to your account. Uh, make sure you have that backup and sync turned on and checking again in a three to five days. So I'm actually gonna show you guys what that backup looks like. Uh, here in the backup itself, you can actually see, you can choose your folders, which you wanna backup and things of that nature. Uh, I talked about that a little bit. Uh, backup over Wi-Fi and photos and things of that nature, but I actually want to go back and show you within the actual application itself how to go about doing that. Scroll over. Settings. Backup and sync right there at the top. You can see it. Hit that backup and sync. And I actually have mine turned on on Wi-Fi only in this device. Um, and you have another one which you can't see behind me. Um, see if I can move myself. Hey, I can move myself um, in terms of where do I want to back up those folders as well. Okay, so with that in mind, I think I've actually hit on everything in that troubleshooting guide. Um, and again, if you do have any other questions, please visit us, visit us at the Google Photos Forum. Um, I'll leave that description in, or I'll leave that link in the description below. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And Apologies for this video. I was very tired today, um, a little bit all over the place, but I at least wanted to get the troubleshooting guide out there for folks to actually kind of digest. Um, and I will actually see you guys tomorrow for day 12, almost to the halfway point of this 30-day challenge. It's getting to the point now where it's a bit of a grind to kind of come up with different content, but it uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks.